Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my video. Today I'll be showing you where to find the Auxilia Exo Armor and the Auxilia Cylinder. Now Xenoblade 3 is still a relatively new game, so searching for monster materials can still be difficult if not impossible. So hopefully you'll find this helpful and informative. I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but be warned there might be unintended spoilers, so be consi- Sorry, sorry, so consider this your warning. Feel free to leave a comment on what other Xenoblade 3 videos you'd like to see, and be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 related content, or check out my Let's Play, which is included in the description below. Now let's get started. For the Exo Armor and the Cylinders, you can find them by killing these guys here. Called Auxilias, I believe? Yeah. Here you go. They are a Kavesi Levinus, and they have four legs and the only distinction is their two arms looks like two individual pile drivers you know they got those two little sword like oh is he absorbing either or oh, is the first time i've seen that that's pretty cool but they got these two little arms and they can be found as soon as you enter the i believe the Kev Kev kevesi kev's castle region or kevesi castle region i'll show you the map once this guy decides to de de-aggro me come on jerk there we go find it as soon as you get to the Sierra Hovering Reefs. So you come from here, from the Pentless region, you'll get to the Pinchia portal, head south, go through all this fun tightrope stuff, and you'll probably fall off the edge of the world like five different times before you get to like a rest stop here in Hovering Reefs too. I died so many times getting from that point, from this point all the way over there, so good luck. But once you get finally here, you can type rip all the way down to here and there's a bunch of Kevesi mobs over here and the auxilias are one of them honestly when I first got here I literally murdered everything I saw five different times um, this is what I use for like the tier 1 through tier 6 gems but when you go for tier 10s I I'd, I'd just recommend go farming for the unique monster but if it's a 1 through 6 I just kill the trash mobs they all drop the same thing so all trash mobs have a chance to drop. So, well, no matter what, if it's a trash mob, elite mob, or unique mob, they all have a chance of dropping the same thing as long as the same type of monster design. As I mentioned earlier, the four legs and two arms are pile drivers. No matter what, they'll, they'll drop the same thing. So it doesn't matter which region you find them in, doesn't matter which level, doesn't matter which rarity, they all have a chance of dropping the common, rare, and legendary form of their materials. And each monster drops a total of two types of materials for the auxilias it was just the aforementioned items these guys i literally as soon as i got here i would kill everybody here like everyone all these levinesses you see here by the time you're done killing them all they would probably respawn by then so you didn't have to like jump off the the building but what i like to do is i like to kill the the unique monster the ambusher tyron i'll teleport here i'd run over here and kill whatever i need to kill and as soon as i'm done i'll just jump off the cliff over here and I'll be respawned back to the last known rest spot I went to or the last landmark I went to and I'll just continue fighting them if you do this it will instantly respawn the enemies in that area you can also go from one region and back to another and it'll also respawn them but that's just up to you however you want to carry out that mission you know it's not too big of a deal but that, that is gonna be it for this video today folks it's just a nice little easy way to get the material you need. I think that's like one of the few places I ever seen in Auxilia. You don't need much materials from them anyways. I don't, I'm not entirely sure if they're needed for any of the tier 10 gems. But if they are, like I said, I recommend just go fart fighting a unique monster. But this was like something I may need for like a tier 5 or tier 6 gem. Just kill a few of them and you'll have all the materials you need. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other Xenoblade 3 videos you'd like to see. And be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 related content I do post daily. And I'll see you all in the next one.